The figure above shows the graphs of the curves of the equations y is equal to minus x squared plus 8x minus 2 and x squared minus 10x plus 26. The two curves intersect at points a and b, this one and this one, and then we're trying to work out what this area r is here. We're trying to show that it's exactly 1, 2, 5 over 3. All right, so then the first thing that we want to do is we want to work out what a and b are. So we know what limits we would have for our integral. So then we would just set equal to one another the minus x squared plus 8x minus 2. Set this equal to the other quadratic, x squared minus 10x plus 26. And when we solve this, this will tell us the x coordinates for points a and b. Bring everything to the right. We get 2x squared, so take away the 8x, we get minus 18x, and then add the 2, we get plus 28. Divide by 2. Factorize two things that times together to give 14, and add together to give minus 9. And then we get x is 2 and x is equal to 7. So the x coordinate for point A must be 2, and for B, must be 7. Okay, so now we know that. We can first consider the integral of the top curve. So that would be the minus x squared plus 8x minus 2. The integral of this between 2 and 7, that would give us, on this diagram, that would give us this region which I'm going to shade in purple. This bit here. Integrating a curve between two x-coordinates gives you the area between that curve and the x-axis. So integrating the top curve will give you the purple region. And then we want to take away this bit at the bottom, which is the area beneath the lower curve. So we want to take away the integral of that lower curve, x squared minus 10x plus 26. If we integrate that between 2 and 7, we end up with that blue area that we see here. Okay, so then, if we are to have two integrals, like we see here, that have the same limits, 2, 7, 2, 7, when they have the same limits, we can combine them to make one single integral, which would make our life a lot easier. So, this is the same thing as the integral from 2 to 7 of minus x squared plus 8x minus 2 minus the second term, the x squared minus 10x plus 26. So we can simplify the inside of this, which is what makes this easier. So do this minus this minus x squared minus x squared, 8x minus minus 10x, which makes it plus 10x, minus 2 minus 26, so we're integrating this between 2 and 7, and that will give us our answer. So raise the power by 1, divide by the new power, and constants integrate to make themselves plus an x next to them. Limits of 7 and 2. So we want to write it out as well. So write out that expression that we have inside the square brackets with the 7 in it and with the 2 in it so you can secure those method marks. So that's the term or the expression with seven put in. Do the same thing with two. And then we can type these two things into our calculator. So when you put in seven, you end up with 49 over three. And when you put in two, you end up with minus 76 over three. So you want to do 49 over three minus what you get when you put in two put this in the calculator again, and this gives us our answer of 125 over 3.